son of a biscuit! <laughs> But scream night and day. And um, I record audiobooks. That's what I hear when I'm trying to work. And I have to keep stopping. Because once one of them starts, they just keep going. And they have a little screaming party. And it's, it's messing with my workflow. So they're going off to a nice farm in the country to live. But that's actually true. Because we're giving them away to a lady who like has a lot of peacocks and just like seven different birds around. Hopefully they live very nice, long lives, screaming on somebody else's property. All right, so like Natalie said, we're getting rid of some roosters, so it's time to find them and capture them. Silky Roo number two. So the time has come, we are going to grab the crate and load it into the Subaru. Gentlemen, Pick say goodbye to the ladies. Down. As Natalie mentioned, she records audiobooks and she can't have roosters crowing all the time. I don't personally mind them too much, other than the fact that they're just a little loud. Um, so. We found somebody that was happy to take them and has a kind of a mixed flock of their own. And yeah, so we're not charging anything. We're just gonna give them away. And it'll also be nice because then all of our food that we feed the chickens will now go directly towards the egg production instead of also to the four roosters that are getting bigger and bigger because they're eating a lot of food. So um, yeah. Let's see how the girls are doing without their boys. It's definitely a lot more quiet out here. The hens will still do their cackling, but no roosters to wake us up at four o'clock in the morning. So I gotta head back inside and uh, try to get as much done on the plumbing and electrical. We're trying to get an inspection scheduled for Wednesday this week and so we can get the power company out here to bury our electric lines and then get the final inspection, insulation, all that kind of stuff. So as I mentioned in the last video, we're keeping busy trying to get everything done and ready for the winter because before you know it, we'll get our first frost and we will be very cold. So back to work. Thanks for checking in on our little mountain life.